What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. We made our way to Wroclaw yesterday evening. Um, so today is our very first day here exploring the city. We are blessed with beautiful weather as you can see. So we're gonna take you on the journey with us and give you our very first impressions of the city. So right now we're in the Rheineck or the main square of Wrocław and we made our way here from Bioskopiawa as Naomi just said just last night so this is our very first real raw first impression of Wrocław and the main market square or the Rheineck is absolutely really really beautiful as she said we have really beautiful sunshine blue skies all around us today so we couldn't be happier just to be here in this amazing city. Wrocław is a very highly recommendable city from a lot of different Polish people. We actually met a Polish couple that live here while we were traveling through Albania and they said you have to come and see this city. It is supposedly one of the most underrated cities when we are speaking about tourist destinations in Poland and we can already see why just walking through this market square. So let's go and explore a little bit more of Wrocław together. Now whenever we come to a new city we typically do like to do a little bit of research ahead of time just so we know what sort of city or town that we're getting into and I went on to TripAdvisor just last night and I typed in Wrocław just to see what would come up, different recommendations, different things to do, etc. And I came across a free walking tour and I decided to click into the information, scroll down and it turns out that they gave all of the must-see stops along the way on this specific walking tour. So I basically went in, copy, paste, brought it into the note here on my iPhone and what we're going to do is we're going to follow those exact notes bring us through this great city. It says the first thing that you have to check out when you come to Wrocław is apparently some dwarfs. <laughs> that sounds like a very interesting first thing to do. So that's what we're gonna go and do now. We're gonna try and find a couple of these little pesky dwarfs. Let's go. You can actually type in dwarfs into the map, uh, into Google map, and the very first dwarfs that came up for us were handicapped dwarfs. <laughs> and we just found them. One of them is hard of hearing, one of them is blind, and I think one of them is sitting in a wheelchair there's currently some kids there but we're gonna check the handicapped dwarves out now while looking for the dwarves as well um, I just realized there all of the fronts of the of the buildings here in this market square are just so beautiful all of them kind of have different colors some of them have some more no thank you somebody's trying to give me a rose no thank you <laughs> Okay, so um, anyway, some of them um, are a little bit more simple but colorful and others have like a lot of details going on there as well. So um, all of the housing fronts here in the Market Square are just so, so stunning. Right here, just beside me, is an old Gothic town hall that is now currently an art museum or a museum that stores a lot of Wrocław's history. And it is an absolutely amazing looking building. There are so many different sort of sculptures outside on the structure of the building itself and the color of it is very, very interesting. It's kind of like an off shade red or something, but you can tell just by looking at it, the history that it must have is insane. And it is in that old, really cool Gothic style. Directly in front of this beautiful town hall as well, we I just found our second dwarf. Um, he kind of looks like a little bit of a drunk version um, of a dwarf so he kind of has a glass and something that looks like a like a bottle of wine or something maybe a bottle of beer I don't know but uh, I think this is really really stunning for children as well to be able to go all over town and just try and find all of the dwarfs everywhere and um, I think it's just so beautiful directly here at the market square they have this really really cool relaxing area as well with a lot of sand and kind of these sunbathing type of chairs uh, where you can just sit back and relax and you have loads and loads of food stands and drink stands all around it um, so you're definitely not short of options of what to get. I already saw a stand for sausages um, which I'm already in love with and uh, one stand with pierogi so maybe that's something that we could do later in the video um, but not right now and obviously never short of a nice pivo, a nice beer. It's usually hard to replicate a certain energy on video for you guys but I don't know if you can tell but Wrocław is absolutely buzzing. There's so many people around 
just out and about and enjoying the day. Obviously, the weather is beautiful. Um, it is only a Tuesday, so we're only coming up to like the middle of the work week. There is plenty of tourists. I'm hearing plenty of German, French, all sorts of different tourists walking through the market square. And there's so many different things that you can check out and do here. Plenty of different market stalls. It almost kind of feels like Christmas market, but it's not. It's like a summer market, um, but you can tell that they use some of the same stalls. I'm just seeing a stand there with loads and loads of smoked hams and salami and those types of stands, especially if they have olives as well, are usually the death of me because I just want to eat everything. The city of Wrocław is a definitely one of those cities where if you are into social media and you're into taking pictures for Instagram, you are in the right city because everywhere you turn, every street that you look at is just very photogenic and photographic. It's perfect for something like your social media page. There's so many unique and interesting looking buildings and streets and so many people that are dressed in a very alternative way. So it is definitely a place to add to your list if that is something for your travel criteria. We just walked through a small Sicilian food market and typically if you see these types of Italian or Spanish markets, the people are not actually Italian or Spanish, but in this case, all of them were Italian and this was a Sicily, Sicily, Sicily specific food market and the people were actually Sicilian. One of the guys sounded like my grandpa, so uh, that made me feel right at home and they had cannolis and they had arancine and all of these things and I, like my Sicilian heart just straight away wanted to eat everything. So we need to run before I buy the entire market. Now Wrocław is located on the river Oder and there is apparently a bunch of different little islands. One of them is like a cathedral island apparently that you have to go and check out. It is in the walking tour that I copy and pasted into my phone. So we're on our way to the River Oder and we're gonna go and check out, see if we can get on a couple of these islands. I'm sure it's pretty spectacular looking right now with this weather too. Oh, there's a train coming. One thing that I find really funny is, um, as you might have seen just on that train there, there's actually a football team, so not like soccer football as in European football, but American football, that is called the Wroclaw, or Wroclaw Panthers, um, similar to the Carolina Panthers. They have the same colors, they have the same logo, everything looks the same, just that it's a Polish team. Um, I'm sure if we would stay here for longer, we would go and check out a match because both of us are big football fans. On our way to the Cathedral Island, we stumbled across one of the stops of that tour that Luke keeps talking about, um, which is the Ossolineum. It is a palace type of building um, where you have gardens that you can walk around in. All of these gardens are really, really beautiful with these types of little hedges that they make kind of art out of. And it seems to be very, very popular with the people around here because as you can see, there's loads of people everywhere, um, but it's definitely a must see if you do come to Wroclaw. That Ossolinium garden area there was a beautiful little pit stop along our wandering way around Wroclaw. And uh, we're gonna head back now to the river. It's just literally across the road from the river itself. And we're gonna try and check out this cathedral island because it looks pretty interesting. We kind of got the drone up in the air and we could see kind of across the way, it looks like a really spectacular looking place. Plenty of tourists are heading in that direction. So we may as well follow. We just crossed over this really cool looking red bridge and it brought us to an actual island, but it's not actually Cathedral Island. We had a look on Google Maps and Cathedral Island is actually just over across this island, but it is not an island. So it's like just basically facing where we're walking to. And there's a really, really nice park that is on this actual island called Vispa Park or Vipa Park. And it seems to be super idyllic, very beautiful. There's plenty of people out and about today. 
and as you can see by the tram that just crossed me there uh, you can take those trams pretty much anywhere around Wrocław it seems because it seems to be a very well connected city in terms of public transport so that's always a big thumbs up from us if you can easily access everything that you need with public transport that is great because typically what we do when we arrive somewhere new or when we come to a new country we try and figure out the public transport system because it's usually the quickest cheapest way of getting around and it's a unique way as well to interact with the locals the Tumski bridge here is one of the oldest river crossings in Wrocław and it connects the cathedral island with the sand island. This present steel bridge was built in the years 1888 till 1892 and it's a really really cool looking green type of steel bridge. It just it looks very unique and obviously old so um, I do think this is a very very special place to be. Just in front of this very cool Tomsky bridge we found this kind of a sign that is relevant when it comes to the dwarf that has the lock on its back that we found in front of this bridge and it basically reads all around the world bridges get cluttered with locks what most people fail to realize is that nothing brings worse luck to their love than the act of locking it up in a single metal cage on a bridge the rain, the river and the moisture quickly cause the locks to erode and along with the corrosion of this lock, the hope that true love can survive will evaporate even faster. That's a really cool and kind of a touching story as well because you do see that happen quite often on bridges all over Europe. I'm not too sure about the rest of the world but you do see quite a lot of people locking um, these sort of steel locks onto bridges with their names and it's like you know eternal love we will be in love forever type of thing but that story just completely destroyed that idea <laughs> the dwarves that helps with setting love free is one of the interactive types of dwarves um, you can actually pick up the key and try to open the lock obviously with that little statue it doesn't work but um, I think the thought of that is really beautiful We just saw a picture there of one of the churches here in Cathedral Island in 1945 and it kind of looks like the church obviously was bombed during the war or something bad happened to it but um, thank God they were able to renovate the church and put the towers back into place by adding beautiful um, steel type of roofs to the two towers and um, it just so so stunning i want to go in and actually check that church out all right guys so it makes a little bit more sense now we just had a quick little bit of a stop to do some research about this place cathedral island and it is known as ostrov tumski and it is commonly crossed over into on the tumski bridge which is pedestrian only now this place used to be an island um, so it makes a lot of sense. It's actually the oldest part of Wrocław as well. So it dates back all the way to the 10th century. That's pretty incredible. And that is a long, long time ago. And you can see it in a lot of the amazing architecture on Cathedral Island. All around here in Cathedral Island, you have these really interesting wall markings that will detail you in back, all the way back in history it brings you back to Wroclaw in 1945 for example and there is an image of this building right here with this statue here too and it is in 1945 and as you might be able to tell from the picture this entire building was completely flattened and destroyed by bombs but this statue was completely untouched so that is absolutely incredible and it's crazy just to be standing here and looking at both pictures and seeing that contrast and how history has unfolded here in Wrocław. Now this is the church of Saint John the Baptist and we walked in briefly kind of into the first room of the church. If you want to go in all the way and um, you have to pay entry and buy a ticket um, which is all right we just didn't do it we chose not to in this case because we still have like a long list of things to do for today um, but this church looks so so beautiful i can hear the pierogi calling me <laughs> no me 
Naomi. <laughs> Whispers of pierogi. Oh. Right, guys, so we've been walking around Wrocław now for a few hours, around two, three hours now. We're starting to get a little bit hungry. It's coming up to like roughly three o'clock. So we're definitely gonna go maybe back to this Rynek area, the main market square area, see if we can get some nice food because that man made beach where people were chilling, there's plenty of options for some lovely food. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's go. Pierogi. 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 Okay, so there in the market square, we just got um, two servings of pierogi. One of them was with meat, and the other one was with potatoes. Potatoes, yeah, potatoes and cheese and Potatoes meat. and cheese, I forgot yep. about the cheese, yeah. <laughs> uh, and they were so, so good. We actually saw the lady just there when we were leaving making pierogi herself from scratch. So it kind of looked like she was making the dough herself and the filling as well and everything around it. It was just so tasty. They were absolutely, absolutely delicious, like 10 out of 10, probably one of the best that I've ever tried. And that place is actually really beautiful. It's uh, like a kind of like a beach area, um, really just out of this world super cheap as well i think it was 40 zwati for a serving of 12 pierogi yeah. so we had six each and um we definitely would go there again i think we will maybe tomorrow who knows for sure for sure and that place actually um from what i can saw anyway was a ukrainian place so they had a little sign on the top saying uh Kuchnia <laughs> Ukrainski, so yeah. like a uh, Ukrainian kitchen basically and it was oh my god I never had pierogi that were that tasty so good by the way now that we know what exactly we're looking for we're seeing dwarves or gnomes all over the city and um, even like before we started the video we actually walked past a few gnomes without realizing it because we didn't know what we were looking for so uh, yeah they're everywhere <laughs> now let's talk first impressions of Wrocław. Um, I personally think that Wrocław should definitely be on your list of places to visit. Again, trying not to get hit by a car. <laughs> it should be on your list of places to visit. It should be on the same level as Kraków or maybe Warsaw and all of these other very well known and very well traveled places because this city has just so much to offer. I kind of feel like Wrocław might even have more to offer than Kraków, for example, but just because it's such an expansive city and you can see so many different areas and like there, it kind of seems like there's something for everybody. Like there's something for people that are interested in nature, there's arts, there's history, there's religion, kind of a little bit of everything and I just feel like it's the perfect place to be. What do you think? Yeah, day one in Wrocław complete and to be honest our first impressions are my first impressions. Um, this place is just a gem. I know that it is a very well spoken about city and a lot of people do speak very positively about Wrocław. It's not like it's totally undiscovered or unknown. It is definitely on people's maps when they come to Poland. Um, so that's kind of a given but today we saw a just exactly why so many people come and visit this city i totally agree with what naomi said i personally prefer this to krakow i personally prefer this to pretty much everywhere that i've been actually so far um although we have been to some really incredible places such as Bielsko Biała. Bielsko Biała stole both of our hearts. Zakopane did the same thing. So it's really impossible when you try to compare such different places. Zakopane and Bielsko Biała have nature. They have stunning mountains. They have the Tatras in Zakopane. You've got the Beskidis in Bielsko Biała. So there's pros and cons to absolutely every place, but so far, I am only seeing pros about Wrocław. There's so many different types of places to get food and it is a really diverse city as well. So super positive first impressions for us from Wrocław. I couldn't agree more, but that is already it from us today, you guys. Very quick first impressions. My name is Naomi. My name is Luke. 
We are the two mad explorers. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And this is a reminder <laughs> to keep exploring. I always I forget the last part. I thought I had to say that again. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Peace. I can hear the pierogi calling me. <laughs> Naomi. Naomi. Whispers of pierogi. <laughs>